वागीशजुष्व बदने लक्ष्मीर्जस्वचवक्षसी जस्यास्तीते संबी तम निशिंग महम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ख्यातिर अव्यर्थ काल तम विरक्तिर मान सुन्नता आशावंध समत्कंठ नाम गाने सदा रुचि आसक्तिस्तुनाख्याने कृतिस्तवसति स्थले इतादयोनो भाव सूर्यात भावान्ने क्षातिर्थ काल तम विरक्तिरमाणसुन्नता आशावंध समत्कंठ नाम गाने सदा रुचि आसक्तिस्तुनाख्या कृतिस्तवसति स्थले इत्यादयो अनुभाव सूर्यात गौर्य गोष्ठीपति गौर्य गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट साधन एंड सिद्धि दैट काइंड ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म that in order to make vichar if some which in our vichar it is coming some misconception is coming or if some doubt is getting arise in that then jeev can become prakrit sahajya in that case kodiya goshtipati shishila bhakti siddhant saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupad paramhans jagadguru told that that sadhan and siddhi that kind of platform is there why because sadhan platform is different and siddhi platform that is totally different that in that both the difference if some misconception or confusion is coming that it means that in any one of the above like that in the sadhan stage that someone in the sadhan stage this kind of uh, uh, bhavna is coming that they he is become a top most siddh mahatma then about that propad bhakti sidan saraswati thakur speaking that sadhan and siddhi in that platform that confusion can if it is there then jeeva jeeva can become a prakrit sahajya propad the propad always used to speak that o mahadev gan that bhakti there are three types of divisions of bhakti that in order to understand don't make any mistake in that at all why because in order to understand if you will make some mistake then everything will get destroyed in the way of your bhajan nothing will stand up at all one is sadhan bhakti and other other stages that's just bhav bhakti is the second stage and third one and when after that prem bhakti you can attain these three kinds of uh, uh, condition is there different different kind of three conditions uh, you can attain and if someone actually thinking that all the things are all the same then uh, opposite will happen definitely then opposite will happen like the case all those mayavadis their vichar that mayavadis vichar is like that that this material world is not at all there this material world is just like a dream this material world is nothing at all this is just a dream they are speaking like that that i can give what the example they are giving that one uh, one uh, rope in one piece of rope that kind of conception of snake is coming you understand the point when i'm speaking that in one rope one piece of rope it is actually hanging they are just one place that piece of rope is actually hanging there and uh, the person actually is thinking that this is snake 
this conception of snake can come in bro that is called vivarth it means that that object which is not at all actually there that kind of fault and confusion if it is coming then that is called vivarth that actually this is the vichar of mayavadi mayavadi that in this material world he is making the vichar of this material world like this only like in a piece of uh, like in a piece of rope one rope is there in the in the path on the path and from the very uh, de- far distant place that you are making this kind of bram that this is a snake this is actually called vivarth definitely it is vivarth but but they if they make an actual vichar then this is definitely vivarth but that that kind of snake if it is there if snake it is not, this this is definitely rope only this is not snake but that snake that conception if some reality is definitely there regarding snake therefore definitely some experience is also there that is very what is a dangerous uh, result just by uh, cutting of the snake what kind of dangerous reaction you can get so if there is actually rope there but snake definitely will be there somewhere the actual conception and existence of snake if you are thinking that it is all useless then it is all useless to think if the existence of snake definitely is there but here at present in the way it is not there 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 is rope but that conception of snake existence is not at all useless why because snake definitely is there somewhere so that experience of snake definitely we will are have a, that snake is very dangerous if he will bite us then we will die so all those mayavadis they have this which are is totally incorrect so whatever be the case like the in the piece of rope that kind of misconception of snake is coming in the same way that in at the sadhan stage if someone is thinking that he has attained a siddhi platform in that that if he is speaking that he is making a vichar that he has got onto the siddhi platform lot of sahajyas have been produced in our gaudiya samaj not one lot of the uh, sahajyas are like that in our gaudiya mat also gurudev speaking that uh, these people already have came they haven't understand what actual be bhajan is and they are thinking themselves that they are topmost siddh mahatma they are on the siddh platform so this is the actual uh, case what to do so at, at the st- at the stage of sadhan platform if you are thinking it as siddhi platform then that kind of vivarth which is actually getting produced and that is called that is prakrit sahajya that is actually called prakrit sahajya that is actually called sahajya bhav that uh, by doing sadhan bhakti when actually uh, bhav bhakti hasn't got produced up till now and he is thinking that he has just gone but is thinking himself that he is very siddh he is that is called prakrit sahajya vad so like this so like this this kind of vichar if in order to respect this kind of vichar is not at all good that it is more good that whatever kind of uh, limitation or uh, capacity krishna has given me okay he has given me this much capacity it's good that maybe anarth is there maybe anarth is more in me that after get go anarth is getting over that sadhana kriya will just go away and sadhana bhakti will just come okay no problem from me so like this slowly steadily maybe some way or other inside me bhav bhakti will get developed it will manifest definitely one day and after that prem bhakti i will be discussing it's a totally separate thing to discuss that's why prabhupad ji always used to speak the prabhupad that for kapat people they cannot get the actual mangal at all that those who are actually very nishkapat that maybe uh, they are having an earth but for kapat people they cannot get mangal at all at all whether they are having i have very weak bhav but still i am nishkapat maybe today or tomorrow or definitely or maybe day after tomorrow definitely my mangal definitely will be done but for kapat people it is not at all possible at all 
Prabhupada, the Prabhupada speaking in regards to this, that Siddhi, that Mantra Siddhi can be done and Bhakti Siddhi is also there. In between both of them there is difference. That Mantra Siddhi, then Bhakti Siddhi, in between that, what is the basic difference? What is the actual speciality regarding this? The Prabhupada actually giving answer that Mantra Siddhi, if you are getting, if you are getting Mantra Siddhi, then this material world you are getting out of that. You are getting Mukti. Because in bonded state that I am actually just trying that I can get out. But in bonded state actually to do Krishna Bhajan is not at all possible. I can start. I can just make an effort just by taking Guru Kripa going forward in Bhajan it can be done. But in bonded state that in unearth state actual Hari Bhajan it is not at all possible. So Mantra Siddhi to get out of the sansar, he can get out of that. Only then that Shuddha Bhakti, Sadhana Bhakti, that it can transform into Nishta Bhakti. Before that, that Sadhana Kriya and Bhajan Kriya, it looks like, like it is like Bhajan, one kind of effort you are making to do Bhajan. That's it. That is Bhajan Kriya. First he can get uh, Mukta and uh, that that he can destroy the karma bandhan the karma bandha this is actually written in the kirtan first he will become mukta and after getting mukta that karma bandhan is getting destroyed automatically Karma Bandhu, Gyan Bandhu. Karma Bandhu, Gyan Bandhu, Avesh Mano Bandhu. Avesh Mano Bandhu. In Avesh, that uh, the person are getting uh, bonded in that, in Avesh condition. Narottam Das Thakur in Kirtan also written lot of things. So first is actually he is getting mukt and after that the karma bandhan is getting uh, destroyed and after that going ahead that Bhagwan Shri Krishna's that actual uh, actual das or actual dasatta he can get the actual swarup of jivas is to get the lotus feet is the dasatta of Krishna but this kind of dasatta of Krishna now this actually is not in realization of that bonded jiva this is not coming in his feeling of realization Still, definitely it will come into his realization. Because this definitely this point is there. But before he is becoming bond, materially, he is getting out of the material bondage. And after that only he can realize that he is the, the Das of Krishna. And Mantra Siddhi, by that he can, the Sada can get free from material bondage completely. And at that point, that Prakrit false ego it is not at all there at all inside him. This very nice shloka. That's by leaving a false ego after that. That Krishna's Krishna Dasa before it he can become otherwise before that it is not at all possible at that time prakrit's uh, false ego will not at all stay inside the heart and from that point when he is leaving that false ego prakrit false ego when prakrit ahankar that false ego is not at all there inside at that time that he is becoming nishkam that bhagavad sukharth that that kind of uh, uh, topmost uh, glorification he can get to do Bhagavad Seva and at that time with full Nishkam Bhav that Bhagavad Sukhartha that to do Bhagavad Seva he can get the topmost opportunity to do Bhagavad Seva that is called Shuddha Dasya or you can say Shuddha Bhakti that is actually called Shuddha Bhakti pure Bhakti, pure devotion that Mantra Siddhi, 
that he is getting away uh, getting mukta from mantra siddhi and bhakti siddhi by that he is getting prema by bhakti siddhi that he is developing prema and by mantra siddhi he is getting mukti and bhakti siddhi that he is getting prema he is becoming a topmost premic bhakt a one premic bhakt he is a siddha devotee and a siddha devotee is the topmost that premic bhakt is the only siddha devotee or a topmost paramhans by mantra siddhi he is getting uh, out of the bondage by old by nama vahas also one actually is getting mukta from this bondage and and the glorification of nama is so much that by nama vahas only he is getting uh, getting onto the platform of mukti but krishna nam he is the actual worshipable uh, object of upasya vastu hari nam is a mukta kulai rupasya manam top most worshipable object krishna nam krishna nam for all the mukta kul is the actual worshipable object in chaitanya charitamrita also this vichar of mahaprabhu is coming prakashanand saraswati like that like mayavadi like prakashanand saraswati even 10000 disciples he is having he is the guru of 10000 disciples in front of him mahaprabhu has made a very nice vichar in front of him and speaking he is making this vichar in front of him by krishna mantra he is getting the krishna by krishna nam that you can get the lotus feet of krishna by krishna nam so whatever be the case now the prabhupad always always used to speak this point in front of us that sadan bhakti bhav bhakti and prema bhakti that this uh, speciality is actually to having very different and don't uh, un- uh, misunderstand that if you will misunderstand then opposite will happen here the what shloka i have already started with here the shloka which i have started with is a very nice shloka from bhakti rasamrit sindhu of shila rupa guru rupa goswami pad and here actually it is written what does it mean it means that that bhav when the sprouted when it is sprouted that bhava when when he is getting sprouted when the sprout is coming out of bhava with that all kind of symptoms what i have already told you that just like blind if you are doing bhajan no kind of uh, actual reality you can get this manasiksha this so much deep vichar is there that this preliminary vishay by not understanding this you cannot understand what ragunath das goswami pad the actual deep in analysis of the hari bhajan those who are actually want to do pure devotion want to lotus feet of bhagwan that for those who are getting the topmost prem sampatti of bhagwan those who want the treasure hidden treasure of prema bhakti that they need to be very careful khanti first actually is khant khanti and second second one is avyakt kalata and then virakti that manushunata and after that asha bandha then samutkantha after that naam gaane and sada ruchi these are the different different kinds of uh, categorical divisions about uh, how we can in a katha kirtan of bhagwan that asakti we need to get and uh, the dham of bhagwan here bhagwat dham mein that in bhagwat dham there is priti all the time in that there is some attraction uh, that sadak is feeling for bhagwat dham what does it mean actually the in order to understand this uh, shloka 
then only in forward you can understand that what is actually bhav bhakti and when bhav is coming what will be done and that kind of sprouted form of bhava that is the actual uh, symptom of that khyanti means that uh, some kind of distress is coming that some kind of condition is arising that our mind and uh, is actually getting distressed what is the actual reason is getting distressed but still it is not getting distressed that is the topmost shanti that is shanti that is the shanti the actual uh, actual uh, source of distress but still your heart is not getting distressed at all it's not at all feeling any kind of distress still you are having getting that distress and sorrow that kind of condition is called uh, uh, that is a topmost pure uh, uh, situation elevation you can get that is called shanti and and uh, any other kind of uh, external vishay there is no kind of uh, uh, you are not at all feeling good in order to get into any kind of external affairs of this material world in order to just uh, get yourself into external vishay only and only you just want to get uh, yourself into bhagavad bhajan all the time you just need to make sure that all your time you should get utilized in bhagavad bhajan it automatically will be done that is called avyarth kalaptam avyarth kalat means it means that that is avyarth kalap avyarth means no kind of avyarth uh, you are not at all wasting time for external affairs you are not at all speaking any useless talking and you are not at all thinking of useless things that is all useless when all these kind of useless external things when it will getting totally vanquished and destroyed then this kind of no kind of uh, consciousness for external uh, affairs will be there then avarth kalaptam is very important 24 by 24 hours in bhagavad bhajan and bhagavad chintan if your heart is there all the time then it is called avarth kalaptam and virakti means that in this material world whatever kind of enjoyment that objects of this material things if you are thinking analytically about the enjoying things of this material world then you can see here that whatever kind of uh, uh, whatever enjoyment of this material world is there it is just connected to uh, touch spurs that millions and millions of people are actually going for these kind of enjoyments only which is related to your sense of touch sense of uh, hearing s- maybe you is be having a millionaire person or whether he is a pow- poverty stricken person everyone actually is going for these sense perception things only that kind of material enjoyment which is useless that shabd sparsh roop ras and gand five kinds of different uh, sense sensual enjoyments of touch hear seeing that this kind of five uh, elements of sense perception sensual gratification that kind of uh, total detestfulness when you are not at all getting at all in this for those sadaks at that situation that this in that it always be done in bhavavastha only for those sadaks in their life that kind of material sensual gratification and enjoyment related to that they don't have any kind of uh, uh, ruchi there is not at all there in them or oh, in any of the material sensual enjoyments they are not at all feeling that is called virakta virakta it doesn't mean that externally he is actually taking the wish of virakti externally but inside there is no virakti are who is actually seeing maharaj so that's why jagadanand pandit ji all uh, speaking that jagdanand pandit has spoken this point that he has totally open open everything if you are actually came in bhajan with kapat bhav you are actually come 
or whether you are taking a true bhav and whether it can be done like that also that with true bhav you are actually coming in bhajan and after that by doing a satsang you are becoming kapat it can also be uh, the case you can't speak anything about that at all that it wish a material things that shabd sparsh roop ras and gandh basically it is all there whether one person he in hotel or park in one night he is giving one and a half to two crore rupees he is just spoiling that completely but still if you are making which are it all the same that shabd sparsh roop ras and gandh out of that it is nothing there this is the only case that in this kind of vishay those who have no ruchi at all in all kind of sensual enjoyments at all uh, up till in our life that is shabd sparsh roop ras and gandh five kinds of material sensual enjoyments we are feeling enjoyment and we are feeling anand up till that point there is no pathway of bhajan open for us at all in that shabd sparsh adi vishay that kind of uh, natural behavior natural behavior is not at all good because mahaprabhu actually speaking to ragunath das goswami this kind of shiksha just by taking the actual uh, mahaprabhu's instruction is that to shila roop goswami pad just like monkeys don't do viragya like monkeys at all he is speaking to ragunath das goswami pad This is actually called Yukta Vairagya, and Bhagwan also in Gita speaking. This is actually called Kapat. That Mithya Chari so chote. That Bhagwan speaking that they are Mithya Chari. so that in second vishay in order to just get established there, there is no when no possibility is there at all that is called abhyarth kalaptam and shabd sparsh roop ras gan this is in natural form that kind of aruchi when you are feeling for that then it is uh, called then it actual bhav bhakti can enter because when all kinds of um, fall down there is only one reason behind that that is par shabd sparsh roop sansgan sensual gratification it's uh, about this in bhagavad ji mahapuran bhagwan shri krishna giving an example to uddhav ji maharaj already he is giving there so shabd sparsh etc this kind of sensual enjoyment those who don't have any feeling any kind of enjoyment that is called virakta they are feeling virakta from there or and from the feeling of superiority complex jab aadmi ka andar when inside person that is thinking that i am very big personality this vichar is coming then he definitely gonna uh, f- having this wish to uh, find faults in others and to disrespect others superiority complex the question of insulting others can come dusre ko apman karne he definitely gonna insult others this which are will only come when he is thinking that he is uh, superior to others you understand the point and and He, and he is think that our roop go swami pad shila jeev go swami pad shila sanatan go swami pad all has so much top most all ragunath das go swami also is that so much utkarsh are there they are from so much top most uh, families but still they are respecting others and they are not at all uh, uh, taking any kind of uh, respect on them that is called man shunyata that is actually called man shunyata that they are actually giving respect to others and for them there is no kind of uh, respect they should take from others at all this is called manya sunnata and bhagavat charan milega 
and definitely I will get the lotus feet of Krishna. Dhiratara. That Bhagavad Prapti. That kind of confidence, full confidence that is Asha Bandham. In, in life, if no kind of uh, uh, target is there that uh, I will not get Bhagavad Chara, then what, how you can uh, do bhajan? That Asha Bandha definitely is required. If that uh, desire is gone, then everything is gone from your, from your life. That is called Asha Bandha. That with Sudhir, uh, topmost Sudhir Swarup, that the actual pathway of Bhagavad Prapti, that kind of desire, that kind of uh, desire, that is actually Asha Bandha, just to have full uh, uh, confidence that Bhagavad Prapti will definitely will be done. And uh, your bhajan avishth, that your actual target of bhajan, the actual bhajan target, that in order to get that, all the time he is making the efforts to attain that final target, that is Krishna Charan. That, that kind of uh, topmost efforts and that discreet, topmost greediness to just to, that is called Samutkantha. That, that your own Niji Avishta, that your own Niji Avishta, that your own, in order to get your own efforts, when you are putting that topmost greediness to get that topmost final target, that is called Samutkantha. And all the time doing Nam Sankirtan, all the time you have this feeling of doing Hari Nam, that kind of greediness for Prema, that so much Anand you are getting by doing the Nam Sankirtan of Bhagwan. All the time that having Ruchi in Nam Sankirtan, that all the time you are feeling uh, that is called Sada Ruchi. All the time you have this kind of desire to do Nam Sankirtan of Bhagwan with full Anand. And that topmost Madhur Jamai Guru Sakal in order just to glorify that and to manifest that in front of everyone that Gun Aviti Gunaktad Akakshane that that is Samutkanta and all the time busy in doing with Prem my desire to do Nam Sankirtan that is called Nam Gane Sadaruchi. That topmost Madhur Jamai, that Bhagwan's Param Madhur Jamai, that glorification, that kind of Asakti, that is called that Asakti Tad Gunakhyane, just to glorify Bhagwan, Madhur Jamai Swarup, that Bhagavad Dham, Vrindavan, etc. Navadweep, that Krishna Srivindavan Dham, that in order to get that greediness to stay in Vrindavan, that internally all the, eternally all the time to stay in Vrindavan, this kind of greediness when one sadhak is feeling, just to stay in Vrindavan, that kind of greediness, that is called Priti Tad that is called Priti Tad so all the inside the devo, all those devotees, oh, inside all those devotees, that bhav, that kind of sprout of bhava, is, that in those devotees, that bhav is getting sprouted, that bhav is getting sprouted, and you can see that sproutness of the bhav. Then for all those devotees. There's all kind of anubhav, what I have already described, will just get manifested automatically. That is called Priti Ankur, sproutness of Priti. That the actual sproutness of the bhava, like this condition, can be uh, done towards a particular sadhak, those who, is, who are in the bhava stage, stage of bhava. And at that time, and at that time, in the inside all those devotees, 
that kind of uh, sproutness of uh, bhava you can see that inside all those devotees different kind of anubhav what i have already told you For, and like this all those devotees that all the symptoms which i have already told you that that all the kind of anubhavs you can see very easily this all this priti ankur just by seeing when that kind of priti ankur just you are seeing that sprout of priti in the life of all those devotees then all those devotees bhagwan shri krishna he can get the actual that kind of qualities to attain krishna himself he can see he can attain that very easily he will get the eligibility to meet krishna directly it means that this kind of anubhav for all those things that priti ankur they are seeing in bhagavat charan at that time just definitely we need to think that 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 same uh, devotees that guys of sakshatkar of krishna they can they can get the opportunity or the qualification or eligibility to tr- see krishna directly and all these kind of different divisions of bhukti mukti kami karmi gyani in that that bhav if you are seeing this is all actually drama about this i don't have any time to just speak about this shri lavishna chakravarti pad that in madhurya kadambani bhakti rasamrit sindhu it's already has been explained there inside that definitely you will see that there you can see that from there madhurya kadambani and bhakti rasamrit sindhu respectively lot of time i have already discussed this point in front of you that in this material world when you are staying when while doing bhajan you are getting that top most prema that prem that he just went on to the stage of prema that for same devotee inside him that he has just went up to prema that means that so much prema is feeling for bhagwan and tat related to bhagwan but in this material world when he is living then he is having this body material body at the time of having this material body up till that from there up till prema only he can attain from up that abaragunna das to swami etc have already spoken this point and cleared it that they are actually all nitya parshad of bhagwan that raguna das ko swami pad roop ko swami pad they are actually totally different but in this material world that apart from prema you can't go ahead prem is the top most situation that is the last stage after that when sadak then he will be leaving this material body when the pure devotees will be leaving body then maybe in forward that by the sadan majan that according to that he can get in some other brahmand or in somewhere else where bhagwan is actually will be giving us the chance to do leela with him and ahead he can get sneha man pranay rag anurag this all definitely he will attain later sneha man pranay rag anurag this all slowly steadily the transformation of prema only that stage of prema he will attain that is the only stage of prema like like uh, from the sugar cane juice lot of things can be transformed you can get sugar you can get mishri you can get sita mishri all kind of different things you can get out of sugar cane and at last that molasses you can get sugar candy so in this material world while living that bhav bhakti that bhav bhakti the actual uh, matured form 
the matured form of uh, bhav bhakti in that the actual matured form of bhav bhakti in that situation that prem bhakti you can attain how we can understand that bhav bhakti we can get uh, uh, the actual matured form is prem bhakti that if it is actually prema then in that how many so much kind of disturbances you can feel that bonded jeevas if slightly some problem is there in their life then they will just throw guru vishnu away are all foolish actually i mean <laughs> so they will not understand at all they can't understand this they are all foolish yeah. why we have to go in this misconception i want to stay very peaceful that is called kama that is called passive calm that i don't don't disturb me i want to stay very peacefully i don't want to uh, go into disturbance that is actually called passive calm that is called passive calm in the life of devotees never this passive calm can come at all it cannot stay at all in the life of pure devotees in the life of devotees that actual inside actual devotees this passive calm cannot stay at all so so that lot of disturbances can come but still but in order to leave bhagwan there is no kind of desire at all inside the heart they are not feeling any disturbance or they don't have any desire to uh, leave bhagwan that is called prema that i'll give you one example then you can understand for bonded jeevas that bhagwan shri krishna balram in with both of both of them they actually in the sandipuni ashram in gurukul at sandipuni ashram they went there in gurukul that in ujjain there sudama vipra was also there he all also was studying with them all together bhagwan shri krishna bhagwan shri krishna and sudama have so much prema that you cannot even in order to test that prema bhav that bhagwan actually speaking oh friend i am actually very hungry i want to eat something sudama vipra speaking that uh, uh, it is not the time of taking prasadam and we have to take it afterwards are what to do i am feeling very hungry are i don't uh, can't, can't do anything oh, some chola some chana is there actually is just uh, there inside uh, guru ma is having that so you can go there and take that are nobody will take you you steal that those for me it is there only she can't no are i am feeling very hungry you just bring it no please he is asking to sudama and sudama vipra and he is going to the house and just stealing that chana for krishna and here bhagwan shri krishna speaking to guruma you see that sudama is actually stealing that uh, those uh, sprouted cholas chanas he is actually stealing that sudama you see and he just was caught by guruma and he started crying sudama very heavily you yourself actually asking me to steal oh and you are actually speaking to guruma on uh, on your own and after that bhagwan shri krishna speaking that actually whatever kind how much prema is there for me how much you can uh, have patience that you that maybe you can like you see haridas thakur in uh, so 22 different market he's got beaten up but still he is speaking haridas thakur speaking one point that even if you will put me into different different pieces my body but still i won't i my tongue will always dance uh, on hari naam it means that bignati that different different kind of problems this prema is just getting tasteless there is no is some kind of possibility but still it is not at all getting tasteless and when mamata when attachment topmost attachment is getting sprouted then that is the top 
sneha is the uh, top most form another uh, top most form of prema what is actually f- definition of sneha when you are uh, inside heart that sneha the sneha means that the, our mind that our heart is getting melted by prema so much respecting when you are uh, giving respect that his heart is getting melted that your heart is getting melted dravid bhav ab that is called anurag that rag when sneha is becoming more and more deep more dense and deep that is called anurag that is called rag sorry not anurag and what do you mean by rag more dense form of sneha more dense and deep form of sneha that is called rag and above that that is pranay pranay that uh, firm faith their faith will not get break at all it won't broke that is actual rules and while discussing it that manasiksha i was discussing this all basic things i it is very much uh, important to discuss all this vyasthai bhav sanchari bhav all this are there now i will not be going into all this matter but still i will be just discussing it uh, uh, ahead that sthai bhav krishna rati and after that anubhav what is that that how your ras is getting lot of things are there which we need to discuss we will uh, discuss it ahead in bhakti rasamrit sindhu also shila rup go swami pad he is giving the definition of prema rup go swami pad has given the definition of prema in bhakti rasamrit sindhu what he has given so this actually is um, uh, rup go swami pad has uh, spoken about this that your heart is getting uh, samak masran and the extreme point of mamta your heart becomes full of mamta that sneha is becoming more and dense more and more dense that is actually all those premic devotees that they are speaking all those uh, intelligent people that that is called actually prem and sneha is getting more and more deeper so whatever be the case now actually in this material world the top most uh, difficulty is that to understand is that sahajya bhav that uh, that sahajya bhav what is there that uh, all those sahajyas by all the sahajyas this the actual dignity of bhakti the that prem bha, prema bhakti bhav bhakti that dignity that kind of respect that our dignity is all slowly steadily is getting finished that the respect is actually uh, getting uh, slowly steadily it is getting uh, lower and lower bhakti vino thakur ji actually speaking that how you can get prema that uh, people don't have this kind of information or they don't want to hear also this at all just by going out on on and on in this uh, material sansar material world by chance 
that bhaktin mukhi sukriti jeevas are getting by chance that kind of what is actual kram of prem utpatti if it is not like that then uh, all are actually uh, fraudsters but that's why i'm speaking to you in this material world when you are actually moving in this cycle of birth and birth by chance if all the jeev if some jeevas particular jeevas are getting bhaktin mukhi sukriti then pure pure devotion that all kind of limbs of pure bhakti are actually getting which are established in the shastras that what actually has been shown uh, to us out of that even if one limb of the bhakti if you are one is getting in knowledgeable in the life of a mankind or human beings unknowingly also by chance if they are getting that like by chance ekadashi by by one or the other way knowingly or unknowingly if someone actually that pure devotion all those if by chance it is being done maybe you are not at all like getting any kind of prasadam so that ekadashi and at that time by chance ekadashi was there then you will get bhaktin mukhi sukriti out of that and prahlad maharaj about that sadan sid prahlad maharaj i have already told sadan sid prahlad maharaj about this in the puranas it is written that prahlad maharaj he is actually not nitya sid sadan sid i am talking sadan sid prahlad maharaj and in the previous uh, uh, previous life he is actually very characterless very very characterless person just like one prostitute he used to go there and one time he is actually uh, one uh, with one vaishya is getting in fighting with that and he just went to the jungle from there he just went from the jungle there and there he was not even taking prasadam and water at all and by the actual will of bhagwan that day that narsingha chaturdashi was there so automatically what happened to him that narsingha chaturdashi that he got the fruit of narsingha chaturdashi that vrata like one mouse someone actually making one that what mouse has done that unknowingly he has done one parikrama of one temple just by running and all these things that daiva that by chance that ekadashi is doing the some fast that some bhagwat ji ma some teeth darshan sparshan that some kind of by taking the tithi vichar some pure devotees is doing some upkar by having that guest which are you are making pure devotee is uh, coming uh, to your house and you are making respecting he don't know that he is a pure devotee but still he is serving him and uh, all those nishkinchan sadhus that from their lotus mouth that uh, met it nahari nam amrit katha just by hearing that from their lotus mouth like this if someone having getting this kind of vichar then that it will become top most successful for you that is in all this kind of uh, all this kind of uh, if bhakti mukhi spriya is actually there then for the, those people that bhakti pad sukriti that bhakti pad sukriti will not be done so all these actually all vishay disease of vishay if by chance someone is doing then they will get that bhakti mukhi sukriti you understand the point so all those nishkinchan i'll give you one example very nice example in varanasi is actually mayavadi khetra you know everyone you know everyone knows that and in jaiv dharma i'll give you one example maybe you can get a very nice example out of that that prakashan and saraswati that mayavad guru he is is of of 10000 disciples he is actually is there in his uh, bhajan kutir <laughs> and he is doing his sadhana there and in that what he is actually figuring out that kaula gaud vaishnav 
श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत कथाधर श्रीवासदी कौर भक्त वृंद स्पीकिंग लाइक दैट जस्ट बाय टीयर्स रोलिंग डाउन इज चिक्स ही इज एक्चुअली जस्ट गोइंग डाउन एंड अगेन बैलेंसिंग हिम स्टेल एंड अगेन इज गोइंग अप सो लाइक दिस स्लोली स्टेडली वेन ही सींग दैट एंड जस्ट बाय इज करताल इन वेरी टॉप मोस्ट कंडीशन ऑफ प्रेमा ही इज डूइंग दैट this mayavad actually mayavadi prakashana saraswati pad has seen and in inside his heart is thinking that this stage what kind of stage this vaishnav is there this is not at all ordinary at all that actually is a prem uh, topmost prem stage with him definitely i need to uh, meet him that in order to meet him he is making this vichar to get out of his bhajan kuti but again reverse which are is coming are i am madhavadi mayavadi how i can get out and meet him if all if i'll go out then the, all the people will laugh at me no then again he just uh, state then again make the vichar then no i have to go there that he definitely has the topmost uh, stage maybe he is actually getting kritakrita definitely i have to meet him and after that again no no if i'll go if someone will see then uh, very uh, dangerous condition when come i am actually mayavadi that this actually against my body which i know i will won't go and after that again is thinking no no definitely it very very important to go this definitely very rare to get in this material world so this kind of contradictory mind is going on and when he made the final decision definitely 100% i have to go and meet him up till that that sadhu has went from other lane and gone very very far away from that lane and he can't meet him at all after that so i am giving you this example very nice and he couldn't get and where that vaishnav gone and he haven't hasn't found because varanasi very small small streets are there and maybe in some street he has gone so he couldn't find him at all but so this from the lotus mouth of all the vaishnavs this uh, lotus mouth of uh, vaishnav that shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nitanand Shri Advait Gadada Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakt Vinjat Panch Tat is melting out from their lotus mouth just like nectar that name of Bhagwan you already heard no after hearing that after hearing that what is the actual reaction that is uh, when going mo- moving forward it is actually he is getting attracted to Navadvip Dham. and at that time about the instruction of chaitanya mahaprabhu that which are definitely maybe some was there at that time again it is very much important to reestablish those instructions because now this is the very difficult present condition that uh, again repreaching is required everything is actually destroyed but what time i am actually speaking at that time चैतन्य महाप्रभु नवद्वीप सार्वभौम भट्टाचार्य एक्चुअली वॉज देयर अबाउट दैट सम इंस्ट्रक्शन वॉज देयर इन वाराणसी ऑल्सो बट इट वॉज प्रीस देयर इन वाराणसी दे नो अबाउट दैट दैट्स वाई दिस मायावादी प्रकाशानंद सरस्वती पाद दिस प्रकाशानंद सरस्वती पाद he is like Pra- prakashan and saraswati pad only whether his name is name is not mentioned there but he is like prakashan and saraswati pad but bhakti no thakur actually is writing in jaivna prakashan and saraswati pad actually he definitely mahaprabhu has given him the instruction maybe it's after that i am actually speaking it's very long before after that i am speaking that when mahaprabhu already gone away that one mayamadi sanyasi was there and again inside he is feeling so much attraction he just went to navadvip dham and in he just uh, taking bath in ganga and just uh, getting for the prema out of that and after that he is moving towards in order to just uh, ask he just went to paramas baba ji maharaj and paramas baba ji maharaj one sanyasi just by seeing one sanyasi rolling down on the ground with sastang dandavat just by seeing that paramas baba ji maharaj actually speaking that you are actually sanyasi thakur i am actually i am 
एक्चुअली बट आफ्टर दैट ही है गॉड दीक्षा फ्रॉम परमंस बाबा जी महाराज एंड दैट ही बिकम वैष्णव दास आफ्टर दैट एंड अगेन प्रद्युम्न मिश्र वेन महाप्रभु ऑलरेडी वेंट प्रद्युम्न मिश्र इज देयर दैट इन एट नरसिंह पली एट नरसिंह पली वेयर वेयर पर मन इज एक्चुअली कुक्ड डाउन स्टेयर देर इज वन रूम देयर प्रद्युम्न मिश्र यूज टू डू भजन दैट वैष्णव दास वेन यू गो गॉन फॉरवर्ड दैट गुरुदेव दैट गिविंग अबाउट हिम टोल्ड हिम अबाउट द नित्य सिद्ध सेवा हिज एक्चुअल स्वरूप एंड प्रकाशानंद सरस्वती ऑलरेडी महाप्रभु हैज गिवन हिम द इंस्ट्रक्शन डेफिनेटली दिस पॉइंट वॉज देयर सो वी आर एक्चुअली इज वाराणसी एंड थाउजेंड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ मायावादीज ऑल डिसाइपल ही इज एक्चुअल गुरु ऑफ ऑल दोज डिसाइपल एंड फ्रॉम वेयर ही इज गैटिंग दिस पंच तत्व मेल्टिंग फ्रॉम द लोटस माउथ ऑफ दैट वैष्णव He just by hearing that, his uh, heart is just getting uh, raptured by that. And when he just uh, got that from his uh, mouth, it is not at all getting empty. It is not at all meaningless what he has heard. And after that, he just got that topmost prem sampati. After that, so if this which are of atithi, if you are doing the upakar of pure devotees, or nurse. pure guru vaishnav from the lotus mouth that melting uh, nectarian hari katha when you are hearing that that all these kind of work those people that kind of bhaktin mukhi spriha that if they are not at all feeling any kind of uh, ruchi then they are not at all getting any fruit regarding prema bhakti and those who are having a slight ruchi then in relation to that one they are that that bhakti pad sukriti they will not get at all because they don't have any ruchi they are not at all getting why because inside them that all kind of things related to pure devotion definitely it is done ekadashi upas bhagavad vira darshan atithi which are by somebody you are actually uh, as a guest you are doing upkar and to from the sadhu some hari katha kirtan you are hearing that all these kind of uh, all these kind of things in that that bhakti bhakti mukhi spriya they are if they are feeling that bhakti mukhi spriya if they are having then in relation to them that it is uh, speaking correctly that uh, bhakti mukhi spriti is not at all possible bhakti pad sukriti they will not at all get bhogan mukhi bhogan mukhi sukriti they will get in return भक्ति पद सुकृति वोट बी देयर पर भोगन मुख की सुकृति विल बी डन दैट दोज हु डोंट हैव एनी नॉलेज अबाउट द तज्ञ अबाउट द तत्व दे डोंट हैव एनी नॉलेज अबाउट दैट इन साइड दैम दे डोंट हैव एनी नॉलेज ऑफ तत्व एट ऑल दैट ऑल दोज अतत्व व्यक्ति ऑल दोज अतत्व व्यक्ति ऑल दोज अतत्व पर्सन जीवास those who don't have any knowledge of tatva at all for all those uh, people by chance if they are actually doing this kind of activities that bhakti pad sukriti won't be done why there are two kinds of sukriti one is bhogan mukhi and one is bhakti bhuktin mukhi bhaktin mukhi and bhogan mukhi two kinds of sukriti and after those who have uh, lust and kama then for them bhakti pad sukriti for them no it is not at all possible and bhogan mukhi sukriti will be done for them and if and those who don't have atatva they are atatva means they don't have any tatva knowledge then unknowingly that mandir parikrama bhav darshan at tithi teerth snan hari katha shravan kirtan from pure guru vaishnav whatever they are actually doing but still if it is done that they don't have any tatva gyan at all for for those people what will happen bhakti mukhi spriha if it is not at all there then then definitely they will get bhakti pad sukriti they will get bhakti pad sukriti then that same bhakti pad sukriti after birth after birth when you are actually accumulating when it is actually accumulating birth after birth 
that sukriti that you are getting birth after birth and that it is getting transformed into ananya bhajan and that shraddha will getting uh, sprouted that in ananya bhajan when you are having, having that shraddha in ananya bhakti that by getting pure uh, sadhu sang that kind of desire you will feel that ananya bhakti that uh, what is the actual symptom of uh, shraddha in ananya bhakti if you are getting shraddha in ananya bhakti that pure div- pure sadhu that kind of spriha it will just get inside your heart that desire will just arise and uh, just by doing the association of all the uh, pure devotees and sadhus just by doing sadhana and bhajan slowly steadily when he is doing and just by doing bhajan slowly steadily his anarth is getting off and uh, when anarth is getting off when anarth is getting off that shraddha is getting uh, sprouted and this uh, and sprout shraddha is getting sprouted and this shraddha in uh, nirmal form it is just getting transformed into nishtha that shraddha again it is getting transformed into into nishtha it is getting transformed and nishtha slowly steadily it is going forward nishtha is slowly steadily getting transformed and more and more uh, finer it is getting in transformed into ruchi and ruchi when it is getting uh, made and when ruchi that it is becoming more and more uh, beautiful it is just getting transformed into asakti ruchi in more and more in relation to bhakti it is getting more and more uh, getting uh, transformed into asakti and asakti gradually slowly steadily when getting uh, sprouted and transformed into bhava bhakti that is called actual the actual uh, pro- gradual promotion procedure of prema i have told you of prema bhakti i have told you four kinds of anarth is there always inside jiva uh, jivas that outside that jiva but bonded jiva cannot go out so swarup vibhranti asatrishna and aparad and after that hirde dorbalda the soul is there already this about this i have already discussed that uh, sadhu sang tattva this all already i have discussed with you everything sa swarup when it is not at all getting realized that swarup vibhranti that i am krishna das that my actual uh, karma when it is not at all getting uh, fixed then you cannot do seva at all so swarup that uh, you are not unsuccessful to get your actual swarup that kind of brahm in your swarup and asatrishna aparad and hirde dorbalya this that i am uh, shuddh chitkan that krishna das this kind of identity i am just uh, uh, that i am actually not at all remembering and uh, bonded jiva is just getting more and more away from krishna seva by that that same sat swarup that unsuccessfulness in the swar- actual swarup of the jivas that is the first uh, that in asad vishay when they are actually becoming they are thinking uh, that this is trishna is asad trishna and in nama prad is also of 10 kinds hrde daurvalya this is actually naturally it is there uh, in natural form that hrde dorbalya that from hrde dorbalya it is actually getting manifested that uh, four kind of uh, anarth that uh, it is actual uh, nasargic uh, reaction which they are getting each and every jiva that in sadhu sangha in sadhu sangha that uh, by pure krishna nushilan that all kind of anarth gradually will go away and uh, when after gradually going away that kind of uh, yog etc all kind of other pathways he will be just uh, cancelling that by not following that at all that is actually called that is all actually full of udvek there is no kind of actual other pathway open in this fall down fall down of is definitely possible possibility of fall down is definitely there 
just to get fall down definitely that possibility is there and after by this and by this ultimately that uh, that ultimately if uh, someone actually making some efforts that topmost mangal that it is not at all possible to get topmost mangal for them at all here actually it is written by sadhu sang shuddh krishna rushilan that and yog etc all other kind of pathways which are there yog karma etc that pratyahar this that in by sadhu sang in shuddh krishna rushilan is very much important under sadhu sang and yog etc karma whatever you are doing then that all kind of uh, different kind of sadhan that is full of udveg it will produce full of uh, it will produce udveg inside you just by following that karmic and yogic pathways and definitely fall down is definitely possible in this pathway that's why top most absolute mangal and benefit to get it is not at all possible at all and in sadhu sang krishna rushilan that under sadhu sang only their guidance that krishna rushilan is important that anarth all kind of anarths what i have already spoken whatever kind of anarths that whatever anarths are there that in the bonded condition definitely will get more and more deeper in that that if anarth is getting if if the anarth is going away that the uh, fallen condition in maya it will get more and more rectified and the maik dasha the actual condition of maya in which materially bonded jivas are there that that it is actually getting more and more reduced and getting rectified and that that according to that only their own swarup will get more and more purified it means that whatever kind of condition of maya they are put into up to what percentage they are reducing that day by day automatically their swarup will get manifested in front of them in whatever percentage actually it is getting destroyed that swarup will definitely go up to that percentage it will get manifest in the heart of that particular jiva that if you actually asking truly that anarth mukt bhakti without any anarth they are actually pure devotees they are actually pure devotees without any anarth about this i have already told you a lot of time how this uh, anarth mukt uh, person actually is very rare and uh, even millions and millions of mukt if you are taking that one krishna bhakti you are getting it means that krishna bhakt it is actually very very rare to get krishna bhakt in this material world very very difficult next to impossible to get uh, krishna bhakt in this whole material world Raghunath Das Goswami Path He is actually giving us the instructions Raghunath Das Goswami Path actually in order to give us instructions He has told all this kind of vichar in front of us Raghunath Das Goswami Path that he is uh, uh, actually titled as uh, Rupanuk and Sanatan Goswami Path is also Rupanuk who not everybody jeev ko swami pad also is uh, titling him as rupanuga everyone is rupanuga so this ragunath das ko swami pad that manasiksha what we are actually learning from that in this in this uh, very in depth vichar is there that uh, rupanuga bhajan it is one kind of this is also one kind of rup, that is actually in manifested form that rupanuga bhajan is the same that what ragunath das goswami pad actually has written apart from that what can be more apart from rupanuk bhajan you tell me but still this all all kind of uh, discussion before doing that by just discussing that before i just need to make sure that what kor kishor das baba ji maharaj has told us that to your brutal heart you just with the chappal you need to beat that 
lot of times after getting up before starting your bhajan shila raguna shila the actual wish of raghunath das goswami pad uh, about this it is written that rup goswami pad and sanatan goswami pad rup goswami pad himself actually uh, sanatan goswami is speaking himself as rupanuga and uh, under the anugatya of rupanuga that raghunath das goswami pad says man siksha in that every at all rupanug bhajan is actually is there in hidden form it is just getting manifested by raghunath das goswami in front of us that rupanug bhajan sikrasi of rupanug bhajan it is just that the actual manasiksha of raghunath das goswami what is telling to his brutal heart that he is actually uh, just manifesting the pure, the clear and pure idea of rupanug bhajan that will aapko sumanjali it is more and more deeper manasiksha first we it is just for our instruction to our brutal heart and everything is there in manasiksha but still vilap kusumanjali more and more is there definitely here also there inside rupanug bhajan that hidden secret uh, secret treasure is there of rupanug bhajan but still just before discussing all this we just need to make sure and have to think very fine we have to very carefully think this point that because raghunath das goswami has done lot of uh, prayers in vilap ko sumanjri when raghunath das goswami pas his language he is on to the lotus feet of radha rani just crying and he is actually praying on to the lotus feet of radha rani no jivami tvam bina iti vigyayo devi nayo mam tav charanan sikham what actually written here that is definitely his rupanug he is actually doing rupanug bhajan so he is representing rupa rupanug bhajan he is the am i that i am yours only yours i am that apart from you i can't live at all that in order to understand this completely just after understanding this point completely that your lotus feet is the actual support of me that's it so a lot of uh, in other places also it is written in other places also it is written What actually written here? That your lotus feet, without your lotus feet, without taking the support of lotus feet, that only your tasya, just I want to serve you, serve your lotus feet. that only is my wish i don't have any desire apart from that that apart from that there nothing is there at all and there is no other kind of desire i have apart from that just to get your lotus feet service no nothing i want at all nothing that you are uh, that sakya that your sakya that sakya prem that i don't want to become sakhi it i am actually feeling very shame by having this feeling of becoming a sakhi that in your sakhi i don't want i don't have any i don't have any adhikar to become sakhi in sakya that no vichar is there at all for your sak becoming a sakhi because i want seva so so 
Bhakti Vinod Thakur has written in context to this. Bhakti Vinod Thakur in Kirtan he is writing this in the form of Kirtan in order to explain us more abbreviated form that Raghunath Das Goswami prayer is like this. Bhakti Vinod Thakur has written Kirtan. That whatever kind of uh, happiness Radharani is getting in serving Krishna, that kind of uh, thing I want to get in my life, that I want to learn that. Sri Mati Radharani is apart from her lotus feet if Krishna also calling me, then in some book, then I will not go there at all without uh, leaving by leaving the uh, Radharani's lotus feet. This is actually all the Vishay of Prema. What means that Bhagwan Sri Krishna with him that there is no kind of desire of having his own enjoying mood. In Manjaris don't have want to enjoy Krishna at all. They don't want to enjoy Krishna separately at all. They don't have this desire at all. And I'll give you one example also that like uh, in the branch of a tree you are giving water that tree is becoming full of flowers and uh, fruits in the same way that Aprakrit Radha Govind Vilas by serving them that Sakhi Manjiris are getting nourished automatically automatically they are getting uh, nourished this in bhajan that what uh, our Raghunath Das Goswami Pad has just uh, provided us in by just before manifesting in that bhajan it is very much important to understand this that in dream also that no kind of desire should not come inside your heart that will definitely spoil your actual bhajan that in all your life that your whole life Raghunath Das Goswami Pad that in his bhajan life in that he has already shown to shown us an example that all by all your uh, that it is only all the sense uh, enjoyment is just for the satisfaction of Yugal Sarkar Radha Govind in order to satisfy their whatever you are actually taking whether whatever you are doing it is just for the satisfaction of Radha Govind Yugal Vilas that all the time this actually should be the target and this should be the effort that that just for the senses uh, uh, satisfaction of the senses of uh, Yugal Sarkar Radha Govind, just for their satisfaction, without uh, uh, putting efforts on other things, there is no other uh, pathway, just to do the satisfaction of Radha Govind. We have to go so much far, so much far that you can't even imagine. Up till what point you have to go, you can't even imagine that. Where, that in the starting already I have told, this uh, Prem Vivarth, I have already described there in Prem Vivarth that Prem Vivarth inside that that Jagdanand Pandit has already told us that each and every one is actually thinking that I am is I am doing Gaur Bhajan I am everyone actually speaking this side that I am doing Gaur Bhajan and you will going on to the other side of the river they are all Sahajiya Babaji's and Mayavadi in Radha Guna also they are the same that Gaudiya do no bhajan is uh, been done in Gaudiya Mat. We have we have Siddh Pranali, Gaudiya Mat is nothing. So each and every person is like that, what to do. So, and they are actually just giving their introduction that they are actually doing Gaur Bhajan. Actual, in actual they are doing that. That Gaurang Mahaprabhu Adarshan Acharan only then you can get the actual uh, fruit of that. That in order to show the people that you are doing bhajan that in order to show people that uh, you are actually doing bhajan or bhajan 
that in order to externally show you are just putting tilak mala and in the market all speaking gosai ji you come like that they can give you position as a goswami that you will just uh, accept that and because he will become goswami na just will get me will be just speaking ram naam and just be taking money that's it this is the conception nowadays of all so called goswamis that's why jagdanand pandi speaking that gor ma prabhu's adarsh acharan just by accepting that only you will get the actual fruit and in order to show those people external show of bhajan then with that nothing will be done at all and in secret that all the time they are actually thinking of the material wish that is actually pap very sinful in nature it is it is very very sinful inside your heart when you are actually thinking that's why bhagwan speaking so this actually is the word all the first point the first which are is very much important to understand that that yugal sarkas radha govinds satisfaction there that uh, just in order to satisfy the transcendental senses all the time you just need to uh, get busy yourself in that seva that is the top most thing you can get that inside jeevas that kind of enjoying mood that priya definitely will stay it they it they, they cannot get out of that at all the first is bhogan spri bhog spriha that with bhog spriha if you are doing the actually doing a, a leela of uh, radha govind then you will fall down but all actually rupanu guru work so called they are speaking oh you do do otherwise automatically will be done what kind of vichar it is i don't know at all so first is bhog spriha bogus priya is also sometimes is getting manifested and sometimes it is not at all manifested in secret form it is there then fall down is definitely possible by that even if it is sometimes is it getting getting manifested externally and sometimes internally it is getting manifested but not and but unmanifested externally and sometimes you can see it externally and sometimes it is not at all getting uh, manifested externally it is their secret uh, inside internally it is present so it is very dangerous and after that and in anarth that siddhi spriha this in very fine form siddhi spri and many fine form it is already there in uh, very fine form inside but still it's very dangerous siddhi spriha and third one is mukti spriha bhukti mukti spriha tavat bhakti sukasya prakatham abhude bhave rup ko swami pada has already written this tisra hai mukti third is mukti spriha that i have already told you this is also of different different types it is of two types one is klesh nivrit priya and other is in this material world that klesh without klesh definitely klesh will be there inside every jeeva and though that kind of infinity kind of enjoyment one is actually enjoying definitely it is also present lot of things lot of vichar is there regarding this also that when you are actually becoming atmanam it is of no use at all that atmanam spriha in that also that your body that this body is not yours and there is still not no barrier but some people are thinking very good but in vacuum it is not at all they are at all present there was this four kind in the fourth number uh, that is pujis pratishta spri it is very in fine form it is coming in uh, jiva and in sometimes it is coming externally as well and in fine form also like name fame position they are coming internally and externally both in manifested and uh, manifested form internally and externally both just by uh, 
the position uh, that kind of pratishta can stay inside your heart in very fine form still when it is not coming externally in order to remove everything from your heart there is only one uh, uh, one and only solution to get the full grip of pure guru vishnu under their anugatya that's why prabhupad ji actually speaking prabhupad ji is vichar is there that when kan kamini kanchan when it is uh, it is totally uh, get freed from our heart then only it is possible to do raganuga bhajan then then only then actually it is he is called actually a vaishnav pure vaishnav otherwise it is not possible to call him as vaishnav at all kanaka kamini pratishtha vadini sariya se jare sei कनक कामनी नेम फेम पोजीशन अबाउट दिस व्हेन यू आर एक्चुअली टोटली गेटिंग फ्रीड फ्रॉम दैट देन देन ओनली ही इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड वैष्णव इन एक्चुअल साधु भाव भक्ति दैट साध्य भाव भक्ति शीला रूप गोस्वामी पद हैज रिटन आई आल्सो हैव डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट रिगार्डिंग दिस ऑन दिस पॉइंट ऑफ दिस व्हेन साधन भक्ति when sadhan bhakti when you are uh, not at all doing sadhan kriya then only sadhan bhakti is getting manifested what do you mean by sadhan bhakti when you are getting the full grip of swarup shakti inside your heart when the full grip of swarup shakti is getting manifested in the heart of a particular jiva then only sadhan bhakti is getting started after that that swarup shakti kehte swarup shakti ka will go on increasing टाइम गोइंग ऑन दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड साधन साधना भक्ति यू अंडरस्टैंड दॉइंट वेड आई एम स्पीकिंग that sadhya bhav bhakti when by your uh, material sense organs is actually going on all the time then it is actually called sadhan bhakti sadhya bhav bhakti that sadhya bhav bhakti when just by your material sense organs it, it is getting maintained then it is actually called sadhan bhakti that bhakti in the that is actually nitya siddh bhav this kind of bhakti in the life of the jivas that same kind of bhava in a manifested form that when you are taking that is called sadhya tha that uh, in uh, anubhashya of by bhakti no thakur it is written there bhakti that bhakti that which is the nitya siddh bhav of all the jivas that uh, is its swarup lakshan what is that it means that shri shri radha krishna that with nirvalik swarup that kind of great sense satisfaction of sense without uh, kapat bhav without duplicity you are doing then that is the actual nitya siddh bhav of the jivas that it is actually in very fine form that nitya siddh bhav of the jivas that i have already told you before this is not at all actually spoken but but in manifested form bhakti you cannot see but potential potency is there potency is definitely there of bhakti like in water when you are churning no you can't get butter at all why because potency is not there but when milk you are churning then the butter it is getting transformed into butter definitely the cream will come out of that why because milk has that potency one matches is there and with that there is one stick is there both are there that uh, definitely that stick is having that potency that's why but it fire is there it's it has no fire no fire is there at all in the stick where is the fire in that no it matches is there and matches that match stick is there and matches is also there and inside there is potency of fire but in between both when association is done then only the potency of fire can get ignited otherwise not 
then only it is possible that you can get fire in the same way you just need to understand because that nitya siddha bhav which is actually hidden by that in order to just get manifested you the, it just to take in fine form in the manifested form in your heart that is actually called sadhana bhakti because we know that lot of times we have just learned in uh, under the guidance of guru varga उदय नॉट मैन्युफैक्चर इट इज मैन्युफेस्टेड नॉट मैन्युफैक्चर यू सी द वर्डिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नित्य सिद्ध कृष्ण प्रेम इज नॉट एट ऑल साध्य बाय साध्य इन ऑर्डर टू ब्रिंग दैट इट्स नॉट दैट ऑब्जेक्ट एट ऑल एंड मैन्युफैक्चर आल्सो हैव टोल्ड दैट ओनली इन प्रकाश दैट इज टू मैनिफेस्ट दैट दैट इन फ्रॉम द सीक्रेट फॉर्म यू जस्ट नेड टू Uh, make it into manifested form that's it that by the kripa of sorry swarup shakti but if you are getting fully then only you can uh, get the satisfaction of the kripa of uh, bhagwan that's why that from infinity time it this kind of secret uh, thing is actually got in hidden in jeevas that what their jeevas are having their personal uh, for each and every jeeva have their personal interest inside them whatever they are in fine form it may be that uh, with the full complete uh, uh, fl- completely freed from uh, kamna vasna just by seeing in this whole material world by finding that kind because jeevas have their separate and independent existence that's why this nitya siddha bhav of jeevas from infinity time it is actually getting there in fine form in secret form so that's why jeevas why because it is there in fine form because jeevas have their personal and separate uh, anya bilas enjoyment independence is there of jeevas and everything is there for jeevas and nitya siddha bhav in order to get into this manifested form jeevas have to make sure in order to make that all kind of uh, desire lust these all impediments he needs to remove that from the heart completely that definitely it should get removed only then that nitya siddha bhav will get manifested in order to get the nitya siddha bhav manifested there is only one pathway open that is to just get rid of all the kind of kamna vasna that is actually is called sadhanam that is called sadhanam अपराध इज देयर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ साधन दैट अभाव ऑफ साधन इज देयर सब कपट भाव इज देयर देर इज some uh, abhav of sadhuta then sadhan bhakti is not at all possible at all that sadhan bhakti that it will not get fixed that if there is a uh, uh, deficiency of sadhuta then sadhan bhakti is not at all possible i mean if it is not possible then whatever kind of external drama you are doing that yoga karma etc whatever you are doing if sadhuta that you are actually accepting that completely then only that sadhan bhakti before that is not at all possible and if he is doing in kapat situation then it is already written in chaitanya charitamrit if birth after birth he is doing shravan kirtan with kapat bhav then but still that that he can't get can't get that uh, krishna prem than at all yes tomorrow we will be discussing it more up till today i will be just uh, giving rest now up till now i have to give rest up till now today just uh, forgive me for that
ಪಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪದೋಷ ಕಿಪಾಸಿಂಧ್ಯ ಪತಿ ಭಾವನ ಭವಿಷ್ಯ ಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ